Well, hello everyone, and this is episode two of What Can You See Now? So in the first episode, we really didn't have to contend with the moon early in the evening, but now we do, and it's going to be in the western sky. So generally, you know, stars and open clusters are easier to spot when when you have the moon about, but galaxies and other objects could be more of a challenge at this time. So in this episode, we're going to look at some of the same objects as well as new objects uh, in this episode. So let's see what's in the sky now. You might as well look at the moon, especially when it's in its phases as it is now. So sitting in a chair looking at the moon is a great experience because uh, you're going to see detail um, far more than what you see here. Uh, This is a simulated uh, binocular view using Solarium. And that's my Quaker parrot, Petey, helping out. So our first object is uh, is M45. It's an object that we looked at in the previous episode. And it is a large enough object that uh, most telescopes won't do it justice like binoculars will. So here we have an image uh, taken with my DSLR. The highlighted area shows you Polides. And you notice it's not too far from um, Orion's Belt and Orion's Nebula. We have um, uh, Sirius, uh, the beautiful, gorgeous, uh, bright star, and Betelgeuse, a wonderful red giant. And we have Rigel here. And we have an interesting asterisms right here next to the Pleiades cluster. And this, I'm really going through some effort here to, to really uh, help you find uh, Pleiades because it is really well worth the effort to look through these through binoculars. Now here we have an actual image uh, as viewed from the Telescopia's website showing you nebulosity. Um, These are relatively new stars as is in the Orion uh, Nebula, all right? And the the dust is just a reflection of these uh, new stars. And here we have a view, uh, what you can expect to see, minus some of the nebulosity, but this was the best view I could come up with from the Telescopius website to give you an idea what to look for or what you're going to see with binoculars. So elsewhere in the western sky is the double cluster, gorgeous object to view through any set of optics, but uh, binoculars is no exception to that. Here we have a view um, from Telescopius uh, showing us a binocular view. As you can see here, you've got uh, two sets of clusters close to each other. I just love this object. So here we have Orion's Nebula, also known as Messier 42. And it's a wonderful diffuse nebula situated in the Milky Way being south of Orion's Belt. So this is Orion's Belt here and this is where you can find Orion's Nebula. Notice that we have uh, Sirius, Rigel, and Betelgeuse. We have Aldebaran, Mars, and Pleiades Cluster. And this is just a whole lot uh, to see actually in the south the southwestern uh, part of the sky. Here is a view um, that I took of uh, Orion's Nebula with a 72 millimeter refractor and it was a single exposure. And here is something to give you some context to what you could see because I could not find a better um, uh, simulated view with binoculars. You'll get, uh, you won't get the detail in in the nebulosity and you will not get the core, the brightness here with binoculars, but you will see four stars. You won't really make out the dark clouds in here, but um, it's the best I could. I could provide uh, for a simulated binocular view. 
Our next optic is Messier 48 or M48 or NGC 2548. And it's a open cluster of stars. Here we have a view from Stellarium uh, to, get, to kind of give you an idea of where to find it. And here is a, another view of the M48 from Stellarium, kind of giving you uh, a better view of the object. And here we have a uh, simulated binocular view of uh, M48 as well. Next we have wonderful M35. It's a relatively close open cluster of stars in the west of Gemini. And it's near the moon as you can see here. And here is a binocular view of M35. So next up is Messier 37, also known as M37 or NGC 2099, and considered to be the brightest and richest open cluster uh, in the constellation Auriga. And uh, next slide is going to show a uh, better view, courtesy of uh, the Wikipedia. And the next slide is going to show you a uh, binocular view of this open cluster, uh, courtesy of Telescopius. Next up, uh, we have two galaxies that you can actually see. If you were looking through the telescope, you would actually see it in uh, one view at the eyepiece. Uh, but you can also see these through binoculars, uh, provided you're at a dark, darker place uh, where you can see the sky really well. In town, it might be uh, difficult to see. Here we have a view of both galaxies uh, from Stellarium simulating an 80 millimeter refractor and a 50 millimeter eyepiece. And here we have a view um, simulating uh, a binocular view. Now in binoculars these objects will not be quite this bright but definitely uh, discernible. So the last in our uh, uh, objects to view in this episode will be the Beehive Cluster, also called M44 or NGC 2632 or CR 189. And it's an open cluster in the constellation of Cancer. And it's uh, one of the nearest open clusters to Earth. And it contains a larger population of stars than other near bright, nearby bright open clusters. So, but Notice here in Stellarium that it's going to be pretty high in the sky. Uh, best to be viewed using a lawn chair if you're going to use binoculars. Here is a view of M44 courtesy of Wikipedia, uh, showing you not only the stars in it, but the different colors as well. And here is a view of uh, M44 uh, simulating a view with binoculars. So this concludes episode two and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you enjoy the night sky. You know astronomy really doesn't have to be expensive. Um, all you need is a small pair of binoculars and view uh, the sky using your lawn chair. Simply look up and you'll be amazed. All the objects mentioned in this video can be viewed with just binoculars. So please, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. But if you don't like it, let me know that too. I am trying to improve the content and in the way that I present it to you. That's all folks, and I hope you have a great week.